Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 Imperial Italy. We are still in a couple of wars, one of which is the Danish conquest of Oldenburg, but they, for some reason, co-belligerized Austria, and a lot of people went in. It looks like um, Denmark and Sweden and Norway over here are sort of having their way with the North, just because um, Austria and France, for whatever reason, have decided to concentrate on Poland first, which I guess is fine. Meanwhile, I'm just helping Savoy defending itself against... Um, Switzerland here. In fact, potentially Savoy will get bigger here, which is not necessarily a bad thing. One way or another, like, we're going to duke it out with these guys. It'd be nice to keep both a little smaller. But a bigger, stronger Savoy, who's a really strong ally with me permanently, is not a terrible thing. I did go and unmothball Mantua here, just on the off chance that they decided to, um, to go and siege any of the territory here. Looks like they're going to be moving to Wallace. Now... I don't really want to attack into the mountain, so I think I will let them stand there. This has a fort, so they're not going to be able to siege that in with any sort of rapidity at all. So we'll let them move there, and probably not attack them in the mountains. Although, certainly if Savoy decides to do that, then we will do so. Oh yeah, it'll do that. I'm going to leave some troops behind, just because I'm a little worried that the siege might break because of Grabundan over here, if I leave it un unmanned. I wonder, if you take burn, then does it still recapture things? I don't know. And if they want to attack me in Waldstadt, that would be perfectly fine, since this is the mountain, so it's unlikely that they're going to do that. Mm -hmm. Alright, other than that, we just let things swing. I do have an extra diplomat, and since I don't have to negotiate a peace anywhere, um, you know what, I'm going to cancel the taxes, even though I do have enough military power. It's going to be fine. Um... Hungary does hate me. Oh, we're rivaled. Okay. Hey, we've cored Luca. That's great. Um, Poland still loves me, even though we're at war. Lithuania is... is independent. That's right. Let's go ahead and suck up over there a little bit. And we'll see what we can do. We can get our military tech, but there's no reason to get it quite yet. Oh! We're no longer accepting Lombard. Well, that will change once we go and take more Milanese territory. It's because there's not enough provincial development in places with the Lombard culture, which... Was it just Cremona? Oh, it is. These are all Tuscan and Romanese. Roman, I suppose. Uh, cruelty of mercenaries. Oh, yeah, I do have the Mercs. So we should prevent it in future, lose some prestige. Mercs are more expensive and we have less of them, fewer of them. Or lose prestige and get a bunch of local unrest. I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, wait, that's in Waldstadt? Waldstadt would have three years of terrorized by mercenaries. That's interesting. Because I'm not going to be keeping it. Whatever, I'll, I'll take this, it's fine. We do have to get rid of our mercs at some point. Rebuild our manpower. You know, not go to war for a little while. Because that's going to happen. Um, I'm actually tempted to spend... To do a little bit of um, provincial development to spend my military points. Now, it'd be really helpful if on the screen it would tell us what the um, autonomy is because I don't want to put it anywhere that has autonomy. Like, I would like... I would like to be able to say I want to build it where it's cheapest. Like, Cremona over here is the cheapest to develop because it's not as developed as some of the others. So, build it in Cremona, but does Cremona have any um, local autonomy? It does. Ah. The other thing I want to do is build it anywhere where I have barracks. I actually do have some in Cremona. So once this autonomy goes away, it's actually going to be a pretty good source of manpower. So it wouldn't be a total waste. We've got barracks here in Romagna as well. And it would only cost 74 points. Again, it has some autonomy. But it will be good eventually. Modena, no autonomy, does have barracks. Not that expensive. You know what? Let's go and spend a couple of levels in there. There we go. Since I'm ahead on military power anyway, and when January comes along, I'll be able to do the upgrade regardless. It'll still cost me an extra 5%, but that's not terrible. Okay, we are capped out over there. Are we still capped out with France? More or less. More or less. I mean, there. They, they don't really like me too much in Bohemia, but let's, let's do it anyway. Just keep everything maxed out. Ferrara's actually, or sorry, Tuscany's actually become positive again. I mean, just barely so. They still have me, hate my aggressive expansion. They still hate me for that Imperial Authority confirmed. But, Tyrant Overlord. What is that from? There must have been some sort of decision. Because I didn't go and um, do any subject interactions. But 
But Hansa separate pieced out with Denmark. Oh, no. Dude, we're going to win this war. Hansa, you pieced out way too soon. Maybe you had no choice. Oh, well. Hansa's quite big, actually. Holy crap. Not paying attention to what's happening in northern Germany. There's some things going on. In fact, uh, Lundberg over here even took an extra province, because I'm pretty sure they just have the one normally. Sure. Recall that. Um, Cologne has also grown pretty big. Cologne's doing better in this game than it is in uh, the one I'm playing. Let's go ahead and suck up a bit there, too. Plus instant lector, so we'll see what we can do. That is... Oh! Um, yeah, stay here. They're going to maybe recapture the war goal, but they're about to lose their last province. And right now they don't have the war goal. 63%. I'm surprised they're not piecing out. I have no diplomat this end, but... I, I'm going to stay till the end. I'm being attrition for something that doesn't actually help me. That's maybe a little silly. Let's get a couple of uh, men-at-arms from my actual pool, not mercs. There we go. All right. Wow. Bern and Zurich have gone to Savoy. Very impressive. Let's drop off some mercs. In fact, I think I will disband them all. This might cause Tuscany to get a little uh, uppity again, just because they may have a bigger army than me, but not much. And I don't see any reason why I couldn't bring down my army maintenance. To say half, they'll still reinforce a few. Actually, they don't need any reinforcements right now. So maybe I'll bring it all the way down once they get in friendly territory. So Tuscany is still buzzing around, conquering Poland. It's the new year. Um, I could just wait on this then, because I'm not in a real war. Although, you don't really want to do a unit type change in real war, because it does reset your morale to zero. But if I wait until next January, it would be minus 5% instead of plus 5%. The question is, am I planning on declaring war before that happens? I don't think so. Oh, I can uh, mothball man 2 again. There we go, because no one is coming to me. Poland has peaced out. There we go. Giving Oldenburg 10% of their income. Paying some money. Alright. Taking Poland out of that war as well is pretty significant because now all these troops will go and actually fight Denmark and whatnot. They, they are stacked together now, which is not good. And they're about to finish sieging the war goal, which is doubly not good. Luckily, we do have some uh, war score in our favor, although 12 points of that is about to go away as soon as Oldenburg falls. And then we'll start taking in the opposite direction, which is not good. Apparently, we lost some... Oh, no! I want my... um Poo! I want my diplomatic uh, relationship guy. Well, I'll take the diplo rep. It'll make it easier to convince people of things. But um, I really wanted the other one because he burns off aggressive expansion. Keep trading in Venice for now. We're going to make a run for Genoa at some point. It does have a lot more value. But, well, actually, we might start now because we are collecting, right? I may have even been doing that. So we should get a bigger bang for our buck if we fight in the Genoan trade node. Where we do have a little bit of a presence. Because we even have the marketplace here? Yeah. So once that autonomy starts to drop... Another advisor slot. Um, I am making money. Yeah, quite a bit. Okay, let's just get a level 1 military guy. Hey, well, he's saved up a few bucks too, that's fine. But mostly I'm paying 1.6 bucks a month to get plus 1 power point, which always seems worthwhile. Milan announces Genoa at their new rival. Interesting. Milan's actually got a bunch in Genoa. Do I have a truce with them? I do. I really... I gotta do something about these guys. They keep blocking me. They take all the land that I want to take. So, they most likely have to be my next target. Although, there's something to be said about going south in Italy as well. It really has to be Milan or Naples. They're the only people I can take stuff from. I suppose I could still vassalize the, uh, the Papal States, but we'll wait on that. Still have no manpower, though, so I might be plotting a little too far ahead. I do have a huge force limit. And as long as I've got enough money... We've got a good number of mercs. Right now, they're slightly more expensive because of the cruelty thing. But other than that, we're okay. How's my configuration? Ah, we need more infantry. So, let's do that. That's fine. I can build province improvements. Well, I don't think we need to do that yet. We'll wait on that. Wave of Ox Obscuritism. I can either lose 10 prestige, which I don't have much of, or get 5 years of plus 5 national unrest. That might... I might not be wanting to support the national unrest because... These Separatists will definitely fire quite a bit faster. I don't have the manpower to necessarily want to fight Rebels. I think I will take the Prestige hit, even though it does hurt. Prestige is good. 
Okay, more barks. I suppose the cost is all the same. It takes longer, but... Oh, it's actually cheaper over here. Okay, poor uniforms have expired. Good. That was a, what, a 5% morale hit, I think. Mm, we have enough manpower for another one. Boop. And yeah, that's really what we have to uh, work our way up to. Man, it'll be really nice when this war exhaustion goes away. How's things over here? Ooh, I didn't pay attention, but I think there was the giant battle of crushing the Danish army. Oldenburg still stands. Things are being sieged there. So this is going to go to peace soon. Um, let's recall that diplomat. Let's suck up to someone else. Just keep cycling him around. It'll give us more options later if people don't completely hate me. Plus, it'll reduce the chance of them wanting to join the coalition, especially if I can get them to, like, a green heart or something like that. Obviously, if I build up too much AE, it will piss them off and eventually break everything. But until then, we're all right. Okay, I'm going to bring my maintenance all the way down to zero. I don't think there's any reason not to. We'll save a few extra bucks. <sighs> Guys, you're on the winning side. You don't have... Whoa. Well, that's bad. Where do the rest of our troops go? So you're on the, the winning side. You don't have to do this. I do have the exhaustion. I would like to get out of the war soon. Now that is nice. Only 5% reduction in aggressive expansion. And I don't know if it's going to be around still by the time we do get into our next war. Are you in more than one war? No. Why are you down here? Austria. I have no idea why all your troops were down here. Did you just get defeated and have to run down here? That might be a thing. That'd be disappointing. Royal marriage with Poland. Do we have an alliance with them? No. Do we want one? Maybe. Okay, no one that I necessarily care about hates you. Yeah, I think that's going to happen. Okay, we can stop doing this to Tuscany right now, because we're nowhere close to annexing them anyway. Yeah, let's do that. There'll be an extra relationship. Well, no, actually, because we already have a royal marriage with them. So, that's fine. Speaking of royal marriage, Tuscany... Oh, you're the wrong government type. I can't royal marry you. Right. Do-do-do, 200%. Cap things out with Austria. Sure, Genoa, you can have military access. Are you currently in a war? Ottoman conquest of CU. I don't know what that is. But good on you. Now, I assume I have some claims, and I do. I have a claim on Brescia, which is going to expire in five years, and one in Treviso which is going to expire in five years. I might want to have another one in the bank, but of course it leads to more aggressive expansion. So, ideally I would prefer not having to do that. Is there anyone I can insult? Milan, well we have a truce, so that's not going to take. Oh, also, I, oh no, I can't put a rival because I'm at war. Naples, I assume we don't have a truce or anything, and we don't. So, we'll just wait until one of these becomes free, and then we'll embargo you and insult you. For power projection. I am above 50, which means the extra power points, which is good. Um, this doesn't help. I don't usually pay to reduce war exhaustion, although I'm, I'm starting to consider it. But what's more important is that it does unlock our first Italian idea. 5% cheaper idea cost. So that doesn't help in a short term either, though. Trade range, naval morale, Docks. None of these are critical either, although if we can get ahead of time in diplomatic technology, that would help our trade power. Oh, there we go. We've got a full discount on military. Let's go and grab that ASAPly. And yeah, I think I'll just save up for the next Diplotech. Mm -hmm. There we go. I could spend for an extra leader. What's my army tradition? Pretty low. I don't think I'm going to roll for any leaders right now. They're going to be kind of crap. Um... Yeah, I want the Diplo Tech. 33% war score. It is climbing. We are taking a bunch of their territory here. Again, I don't know where their army is. Maybe they're hitting, sitting around in Jalen. That's possible. Uh, where's the Austrian army? Austria's weird. Like, they're not up here. Oh, there's some right over there. There's some Austrian people as well. Okay, it looks like it's mostly going to be okay. It might be hard to go in siege here, because it's possible... I was going to say that Denmark has naval superiority. Is Pomerania in this war? No. Something completely unrelated. Okay. 
No maintenance. Rebel Uprising soon. Okay, 2.9 years in Luka. That is totally fine for now. If we can peace out, then our war exhaustion will drop, and then that will even delay that even more. Oh, there's some more troops over here. Some French troops. Are you going to jump on someone? You are. And France, you're not going to go and save your brethren over here? No? Really? It's not the cool thing to do? Wow, France. I mean, I can understand not coming to the aid of an ally, but not coming to the aid of your own damn troops? That is cold. Oh, if these retreat over here, that's going to work out okay. Yep. All right. Not the end of the world. Um, but da but da but da but da Oh, Black Flag, did this war end? Yes, Genoa is at peace. And we have a truce with them for five more years. When's the Milan one come up? 15. Oh, so our claims will expire right before, or at the same time as the truce. November... Yeah, okay. So we will have to refabricate. Yeah, the claim is valid the, uh, um, until blah blah blah, the day the Truce of Milan ends. Right. So we will have to fabricate one. Presumably on Verona. Hopefully not get caught. I was going to do something else once I had a um, an open slot here, and I can't remember what it was. Oh, I was going to send some insults and things. That's right. Interesting. It'll end up being 100% improved the same time it hits 200. Okay. Muscovy with England. I think that's okay-ish, although it might be bad news for Poland. We will recall you. Let's go ahead and issue the embargo. And then the insult as well. And then we'll go ahead and fabricate on Verona. We're not actually on a time limit for Verona. And in a sense, the longer I delay it, the more reliable that claim will be. Although we do have another diplomat. Fabricate. Verona. Going to Parma and then to Genoa, that would also be really good. But I like the trade power that we can get from this area. God, you have Venice and everything. Milan. Where's the insult? Send an insult. Boom. Naive relative. I can execute him for treason, lose prestige, or lose some spy defense. I can live without spy defense. Oh, Corsican Separatists. That would be nice. Weaken Aragon. Sure, why not? Weaken anyone who's not me. We've got some extra manpower kicking around. I will go almost completely infantry here. Let's build those four and then see where we're at. Technology. Yes. I don't need my midpoints for any coring or anything right now. May as well do this. We're quite far behind the time. We're delayed on our idea. It'd be nice to get our ahead of time bonus so that we get the bonus production, the bonus trade power as well. And we get our first idea. Right. This is good. More tax, more missionary strength. Yeah, Catholicism, re um, reform desire. That's okay. I'm not planning on reforming. Austria is still the emperor. All right. We have a royal marriage with them, don't we? We do. Really nice to get our dynasty on there. Could happen. I can probably build some more ships. Yes, one more. I will build it in Venice, since it is cheaper there. Not much cheaper, but technically. Okay, no enemies nearby. I'm not worried about my forts. Um, again, I'll hold off on this idea. Boop. Get that. Then we have some idle diplomats. Wow. Burgundy loves me, even though they're negative. Allied to rival. Right, which is Austria. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna improve relations, keep you as a backup, but I'm not gonna marry you or anything right now. Cologne. We don't like you. Wow, you have a lot of unlawful territory. Wow. Wow. Interestingly enough, we don't have a lot of aggressive expansion against them, although I bet you some other people do. But not enough. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen a cologne that big. It sucks that I hate them, but once I think they core everything, that'll start to wear off. We can get an alliance with Saxony, which would be not too bad. It would put us over our limit. It might call us into more wars. 
Saxony is not a bad size. I think I'll hold off for now. Bolin, are we capped out? No. Still waiting for that other war to end. In here. We're actually not capped, but we don't have a diplomat. Okay. So, I mean, it's coming in our favor. I don't know what this is going to end do up doing. Oldenburg might ask for something like Holstein. Or, oh, East Frisia. Perfect. I'll grab that. I'm certain of it. I mean, maybe not, but... They don't even have a claim or anything. Yeah, so who knows? I suspect that we'll probably peace out for some territory. In fact, I'm surprised they haven't done it yet. They don't even have that much enthusiasm, so they're probably looking to peace out. Denmark obviously wants to peace out soon. 20 war exhaustion. Wow. You still have some ships going around. But they lost another fight over there. Yeah, this is going to end any time now. Let's fast forward. Let's hope that it ends, and we'll put a cut in the episode and figure out what we're going to do next. Let's group all y'all in one place. So how's our comp now? Okay, decent. That's a sufficient front line for most of the combat width that's going to happen. I've got, what, two, three. Let's go one cannon and two more infantry. There we go. I'll use up the last of my manpower, bring me up to my force limit, and then I'm good to go. I can just let things attempt to recharge. A uh, force limit that's bigger than Milan's. Well, or an active force, I should say. I don't know what their force limit is. I can't declare on them, war on them right now. But if I could, I'd park myself in Cremona, declare, instantly attack them over here in the farmland, probably win the battle easily, chase them down, stack wipe them. That's it. Who are you allied with? Ragusa, Provence, and Aragon. No one who's going to be mattering in any way whatsoever. Good. Savoy still hates you. And they've grown bigger recently, so they should join any war against you. Especially in three years, they're not going to have any war exhaustion or debt. Well, they might still have some debt, I don't know. I guess I could do a thing here. Yeah, they wouldn't join now, why? Oh, because of the truce. Right, is it the same truce timer? Um, it is. Good. Excellent. Money is adding up as well. I mean, we have all our maintenance turned off, so that's... Um, understandable. But it's good to have money in your back pocket before you go to war. What's left of Venice over here is interesting. One of the Cardinals in Ferrara. Okay, we have uh, 10 years of bonus missionary strength, less tolerance of heretics, more influence. So the missionary strength and heretics don't matter. Everyone's Catholic right now. Influence is not bad. Or 10 prestige. I'll take the prestige, actually. We don't have a prestige guy, which is too bad. We are very close to the ability to purchase our extra, um, where is it? Declare Saint, right over here. Our extra stability, which I'm going to be quite keen on, I think. Uh, I should take a look at our rebellion risk. 2.2 years. 7.2. We still have the war exhaustion. 51% war score over here. Come on! Peace out at some point. Oh, and they're not going to be able to go for the rest of the land. Denmark is separate piecing out Hungary. Okay, well, the war score totals are the same. That's good. I'm going to kill some more troops over here. Oh, they're actually taking care of some Swedish rebels. Isn't that nice? All right, so they got plenty of troops over here for some more war score. It would be nice if they could take the, um, the Danish capital. Flanders. Okay. Again, everyone's white-piecing out with Denmark. I guess because the war has gone on long enough. I guess we will have to put a cut in here. I was hoping that the war would be over. But, um, but that's alright. Thank you for watching another episode of our Let's Play of EU4, Imperial Italy. Manpower is recharging. Basically, we're just going to wait two years for our truce with Milan to expire and then probably go to town against them. And at that point, we're going to hope that our uh, manpower is going to be nice and high. Wow, that is a lot of Austrian territory as well. Hang on, who, who hates you? Savoy for Venice and Genoa. Um, I don't think we're going to ally or do anything with you. Venice probably still hates me. And you're only a one province minor. Okay, so none of that's going to help. All right, we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.